13 F's are starting to come in, and that gives us a snapshot of what some of the world's most powerful investors were buying and selling in the first quarter. Among the big headlines, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway purchased more than 55 million shares of Citigroup, also bought into shares of Ally Financial, chemicals company Selenese, insurer Marco, healthcare company McKesson, and media firm Paramount Global. That's an interesting one. All of these ones that are coming up. Berkshire also, by the way, sold almost all of its Verizon stock and ex exited the small position that it still had left in Wells Fargo. In the meantime, Dan Loeb's third point sold out of its positions in Alphabet and Disney entirely, offloaded more than 90 percent of the company's shares in Amazon and about 70 percent of its position in Microsoft. So these are some pretty big moves um, by people who are watched very closely in the equities market. 5% pop for Citigroup in the pre-market. I'm assuming it's on the, the Buffett news. But you and I were chatting, Andrew, in the break. I mean, uh, sorry, <laughs> mid-sip uh, Paramount. That's kind of an interesting one for, for Buffett. I think even Citi's interesting for him, don't you? Well, and do maybe. I, but is he betting on trading? He's clearly not betting on mortgages. Is he betting on trading? Do we think that these are his or others? I don't know. I, I mean, it depends. In terms of the size. Not big in right. some of these positions. So it could be Todd. It could be Ted. Right. Um, who Did he tell you in a Ted? moment in Omaha, Becky, man, I really love watching Star Trek, the next generation, <laughs> or I can't wait to see the new season of Halo. No, he What's the not. interest in Paramount? I kind of feel like at these, at these sizes, it's not him. I, but it's know, hard to I know. know. It's, oh, yeah, it's, it doesn't it's seem like it. hard to follow, hard to know with this. Um, look, he's loved banks, always has loved banks, so maybe that explains Citigroup. Uh, Citigroup has been unloved for quite a while. Uh, he's got a huge position in Bank of America. It's one of the four biggest positions in the portfolio. I think it's number two or three, uh, depending on where Chevron is right now. Too. When we talk about, to Andrew's point, doing these 13 Fs from Berkshire Hathaway, mm -hmm. how much can we, to, I mean, I think, do we, assume it's him does he does he always have a say does he have a veto power no. on anything no sometimes, Todd or anybody sometimes else he doesn't do. know about some of these things Todd and Ted doesn't do even know the fact. doesn't even know I, mean, I think most of the time he doesn't know until after the fact so it's possible but they all talk I mean they have lunch they hang out they do things and I think they trade ideas and I think Wordle. it's helpful for all of them to to kind of think about but what that, the others are thinking but that's about. why if you remember even like the whole and I know there was a lot of controversy around it I don't think there should have been but on Activision the initial stake in Activision really wasn't him. It was either Todd or Ted. He's not um, told us who. They, have, they haven't said who. He got into it later as a sort of arb play, but that's a whole separate yeah. situation. But anyway, the point is, we oftentimes take away an extraordinary amount from from the from the filing. Although you know, Apple was not him originally either. But when and it was brought to his attention, turned into it. It turned into a huge play that he put into. So I, I think the three of them and Charlie Munger too, the four of them trade ideas back and forth and talk about what they see and what they think, and that's a lot of brain power. And and, and not to dunk on our coverage, because I love our coverage, but some of these 13 Fs, what you, you just don't know if a they still hold them, but b. Oh. With all these synthetic instruments like Delta One, some of these custom products that are being built on the street, I will hear from my guys that run hedge funds or Delta One, they'll say the 13 Fs could be an artificial long position right. to hedge something no, no, else. Not in the case of Berkshire. But, but, right. No, no, Berkshire, not in Berkshire. Yeah. Oh, 100%, no, 100 the, not Berkshire. For the, yes, no, the other ones. If I'm you just, see yeah. David Tepper, the idea that he's still in the same position at the time of the 13 yeah. F, that's yeah. laughable most of the time.